live. This is, we're shifting our focus to the G7 right now. Now, these visuals that are coming in are, of course, of the Prime Minister and the Japanese Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida. Now, remember, they had already met. आप देख सकते हैं कि इतना इतिहास में भी दर्ज होगा क्योंकि काफी बड़ी और महत्वपूर्ण बातें यहां से निकलकर सामने आई हैं। Now, remember, Prime Minister Modi had already met his uh, Japanese counterpart, Fumio Kishida. And remember, these, all of these meetings are taking place on the sidelines of the G7 summit, which is taking place in Hiroshima, Japan. Now, they had previously discussed ways to enhance bilateral friendship across different sectors. Now, those include trade, economy, and culture. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's foreign affairs correspondent to tell us more. Uh, Abhishek, tell us more because we're showing our viewers visuals of the Prime Minister with the Japanese Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida. Of course, uh, India and Japan, they have uh, held the bilateral discussion as well, and the discussion uh, ranged from a bilateral relationship, trade, people to people exchange, and all the areas of uh, cooperation that India and Japan has been working upon. In fact, the Japanese Prime Minister also. Uh, mentioned how uh, during his recent visit uh, when Prime Minister Modi had gifted him uh, a, 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 a Bodhi tree. Uh, that tree has been planted in Botanical Garden in Hiroshima and uh, he hoped that it would grow the sapling of the Bodhi tree uh, to like the India-Japan friendship. Uh, and also the both the leaders discussed about the issues uh, of, uh, you know, uh, they agreed to make efforts to expand people-to-people -people exchanges through increasing the numbers of international students and uh, the Japan-India tourism exchange year in 2023. The two leaders also confirm uh, that both the countries will continue to work closely together as the G7 and G20 presidencies. We know that uh, currently Japan is holding G7 presidency and uh, Prime Minister Fumi Kishida will be uh, coming to India in the month of uh, sep uh, September when India will be holding uh, G20 leaders summit. Uh, in fact, all the G7 leaders will be part of uh, that G20 presidency, uh, G20 meeting also. So clearly, an occasion where Prime Minister has uh, met not only with the Japanese counterpart from Mikishida, but also uh, he has met and engaged with all the leaders of these seven countries, uh, or he's going to engage in the, in the uh, next one day. Uh, while they will be a few months down uh, the line, they will be here in India also attending the G20 summit World talks. Absolutely. Abhishek, a few follow-up questions. Now, when it comes to the fact that the Japanese Prime Minister is now welcoming, welcoming Prime Minister Modi, would you also be able to tell us more about the relationship that the two share, and not just the relationship that Prime Minister Modi and Kishida share, but also the relationship that was shared with the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe? Of course, uh, you know, Prime Minister Modi's uh, Japan Connect goes back to the time when he was the Chief Minister of Gujarat. And uh, since then, he had uh, kind of uh, vision that India-Japan friendship or India-Japan uh, closeness uh, can actually work in multiple uh, dimensions of bilateral uh, relationship, be it trade, commerce, people-to-people -people exchange, cultural exchange, uh, or the technological transfer of security challenges, maritime security, uh, South China Sea cooperation. So uh, in all this year, we have seen over the last two decades, at least India and Japan's relationship has grown further, starting with uh, former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Uh, who conceived this whole idea of the Pacific, where now India, Japan, Australia, and USA are the four uh, partners of Quad, uh, and also the Quad meeting is going to happen uh, today evening also. So that uh, security or uh, uh, trade architecture that uh, former Prime Minister of Japan, uh, Shinzo Abe, envisioned, uh, has founded the basis of Quad Leadership Summit Level Talks, which is happening, and, and this will be the third edition of Quad Leadership Summit Talks uh, that will be happening today uh, evening. And... Uh, India and Japan also has a close relationship in terms of cultural ties because mm -hmm. uh, Japanese look up to India for uh, uh, more spiritual uh, or uh, you know philosophical guidance. Uh, we know that uh, Buddhism is very uh, sentimental. Uh, people are very sentimentally attached with the Buddhist uh, uh, philosophy and the religion. And uh, almost every Japanese, at least, uh, has one wish to travel uh, to Bodh Gaya or parts of uh, you know Buddhism, uh, Buddhist uh, tourist. Uh, destination in India at least once in his life. And so clearly, 
that that people to people cultural engagement is there uh, apart from that india has also engaged with japan in multiple uh, projects in development of infrastructure be it bullet train uh, in delhi or in gujarat uh, gujarat um, you know metro train in delhi and other parts of the country and the bullet train the project that is going to happen in uh, gujarat connecting bombay mm-hmm. uh apart from that there are other uh, you know maritime and security cooperation also that is happening between the two sides so clearly a long friendship which is now uh, reflecting upon uh, you know interest uh, you know in, in serving interests of both the countries at the same time absolutely abhishek thank you so much for joining us and for telling us more about that important relationship that india and japan share uh, again we're going to continue to track all of the developments when it comes to the g7 and karnataka